Welcome into the BSN Rockies Spring Training Preview. I'm Allie Monroy here with Drew Creason. The Rockies play their first spring training game on Friday. Drew, what are some of the position battles that we should keep our eyes on? Well, Allie, there are a lot for a team that didn't make a whole lot of offseason changes. Let's start with the position players. You know, at first base, there's still a big question there. Last year, the big offseason acquisition, Ian Desmond, five years, $70 million. They said he was going to play first base. Now it looks like it's either between him or Ryan McMahon. Rookie might have to take over there. Big spot for a rookie to have to fill, but a lot of people think he could be a rookie of the year candidate. Could move Desmond to left field. Of course, that continues with our battles, though, because we don't know for sure who's going to play in the corner outfields. Ryan Altapia and David Dahl are both pushing the issue there, but they're going to have to have great spring trainings to beat out Ian Desmond. Probably just one spot for the two of those guys. Then we go to the pitching side of things. It's not as in stone as it may seem. There are five guys who look like they're most likely to be there, but Jeff Hoffman and Antonio Sensatella on the outside looking in could challenge for that fifth and final rotation spot. And then we could see any number of things for the final spot in the bullpen. We really don't know who's going to get that. So a lot to be had here for this team, not knowing exactly who's going to play even as we start spring training. The MLB has announced some rule changes in order to try and address the pace of play issues. How do you think these new rules will impact the upcoming season? Well, you know, as somebody who's been reticent to accept the idea that there are a lot of pace of play problems in the game of baseball, I think these are actually very reasonable rules. They didn't implement the pitch clock. We can all take a deep sigh <laughs> of relief, us hardcore baseball fans, but they did limit the number of times that you can make a trip to the mound, whether that be a manager, another player, only six times per game, per team, and then you get more if it goes into extra innings. This should cut down on a lot of the slow in between times. It's gonna cut out some of the strategy, but teams are gonna have to be really, well, strategic about when they plan those trips to the mound now. Well, the Diamondbacks, Giants, and Padres have all made big additions this offseason, but so have the Rockies. Do you think the Rockies are still contenders for the tough NL West? You know, I, I do. It's not going to, as you said, it's a tough division. It's going to be difficult. They're not going to be able to pick up a bunch of cheap wins against the Giants and the Padres anymore. But the Rockies have such good starting pitching and such a quality bullpen. And that's really what wins games in today's Major League Baseball. So as flashy as the acquisitions are around the division, a lot of great bats coming that are going to give the Rockies nightmares. We're going to see these guys <laughs> hit some scary home runs, but I still think the Rockies are even favorites to get a postseason spot in the NOS. Maybe not win the division, but to get a spot because of the quality of their pitching. Well, Drew will be in Arizona, so be sure to catch all of our coverage on bsnrockies.com. For Drew, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Denver.